Okay, I guess I better do one more. Uh, hopefully you did your addition and your subtraction of integers. Uh, we're also going to do multiplying and dividing integers. And the rule is even easier than it was for addition and subtraction. For addition, we simply look at who won. We don't do subtraction, we change subtraction to addition. So you're still using the rule, who won. For multiplication and division, I like to use the rule that negatives can cancel each other out, but they don't just disappear for no good reason. That's my rule. Uh, it's a little strange, so let me show you how I apply it. Of course, you probably learned negative 5 times negative 2, and you probably learned the little sing-song a negative times a negative is a positive. That is true. Uh, some people like to think of it as here's a negative, here's a negative. When I multiply them, I get a positive. Again, you've got your two-stick rule going on. A negative 5 times a negative 2 is a positive 10. Um, let's look at multiplying a positive times a negative 2. Now you don't want to apply the rule of who won. That's for addition. What we're going to do is apply the rule for multiplication and division. There's a negative here. Negatives don't just disappear. They can cancel each other out if you've got two of them. But negatives don't just go away on their own. 5 times 2 is 10. And I have a single negative. One way to think of this is that five friends uh, each have to spend two dollars or have, owe two dollars. Five times owing two dollars means that everybody together owes ten. This one isn't quite as easy to apply to real life, but here's the other situation. Two times negative five. Here's two friends who each owe five dollars. They still owe 10. Notice that a positive times a negative gives us a negative. Two negatives cancel each other out and give you a positive. The same is true for division. Division works exactly the same way. If I say 15 divided by 5, negative 5, the answer will be negative. Now we don't want to write it this way. We want to write it as 15 divided by negative 5. We use this little division line in algebra rather than this one. Uh, bad idea to use the division sign. I like this division sign better. 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. Let's practice a little bit. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Again, uh, if you are watching one of my videos for the first time, it's really important that you pause. Hit the little pause button. It looks like this. It's on the side. Pause and do these problems. Write them down, write down your answers, and then check your answer. Negative 15 divided by positive 5, this is a positive. I have one negative. My answer will be negative. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and I get a negative 3. Now I have two negatives multiplied together, that is positive 24. A negative times a negative is a positive. The same is true for division. A negative divided by a negative gives me a positive. This is negative 21 divided by negative 3. And that is a positive 7. We don't like a division sign. Sometimes you'll see multiplication written with a dot. I recommend using parentheses. Parentheses are a little more standard in algebra uh, and a little less confusing. Never, ever, ever use an X to represent multiplication. If you write this, what you really mean is negative 7 times X times 3. 
probably not what you meant to do. Bad idea. Negative 7 times negative 5 is positive 35. You need to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But you need to be able to do them accurately and without having your rules uh, go on top of each other. You don't want to uh, apply the multiplication rule to addition. This happens all the time. Let me give you an example. A very common mistake is if I say negative 5 plus negative 5, students want to apply the multiplication rule to addition. Don't do that. Practice them at the same time. Do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and practice until you have your thousand problems 100%. A negative 5 plus a negative 5 is indeed negative 10. That's because debt accumulates. That is the same reason that 2 times negative 5 was negative 10. Here it is. 2 negative 5s gives me negative 10. Notice that the rule applies and makes sense. I hope you got it. Uh, come back next time and I will be showing you order of operations.